let me give you a little bit of data on the 650S, a little overview before I introduce you to somebody who's going to take you through a lot more of the technology in relation to this particular car. So what makes the 650S that special? Well firstly, it's power. It's 650 PS. That in itself is a massive figure. Combine that with 1350 kilograms in dry weight and you have a 0 to 100 time of 3 seconds. The VMAX on the car is at 329 kilometers an hour. And these are figures that nobody else in the industry is able to create or beat. So we're delighted to show you the 650S. This particular car is the Spider, And the engineers have tasked themselves with giving only 40 kilograms heavier for the Spider over the stunning coupe. Let's talk to somebody who really knows their stuff on McLaren. We're now exploring McLaren in a little bit more detail. I mentioned earlier, of course, the 650S Spider that sits behind me here. To do justice to that car in the detail, I'd like to introduce you to Craig Padfield, our manager for McLaren Gold Coast, our ambassador for McLaren. The car is a very technical car, very much form following function. Craig, McLaren 650S, let's go around the car from the different aspects of what you would typically introduce to people with technologies that other people aren't doing. Let's start at the front of the car. What makes it unique? What makes it different? Like you're saying, Paul, the form of the car follows functionality and nothing is more evident than at the front of the vehicle itself. McLaren have a very unique position in that they have their own wind tunnel, so every vehicle they're able to manufacture follows the same process and designs as they do for the Formula One team to create the most aerodynamically efficient vehicle possible. Everything from the front splitter on this car, which is much larger and much more aggressive than on the previous generation MP412C, creates more downforce and gives you a slipperier car through the air itself. Better track orientation, once again, better road manners on this particular model. So they're really pulling from that racing uh, background that I mentioned earlier to the guys after 50 Absolutely. years and the most successful F1 team. Absolutely. Okay, so coming to the side of the car, for example, if we're presenting that to the audience who we'd love to see, what would be the things that you'd pull from that that are really unique uh, and levels of technology that we're not seeing others do? Well, there's some things within the car itself that you'd expect from this level of vehicle. Obviously, carbon ceramic brakes are a standard feature with huge 398 millimeter calipers on the front, fantastic stopping power in the car. Big air ducts on the side of the vehicle to direct air into the 3.8 litre twin turbo V8 engine, 650 PS, 641 brake horsepower. That sort of engine needs a lot of cooling. But it's a bit more than that. We have dihedral doors, which means a door that open with a sense of drama, but have actually been created with aerodynamics in mind. Less shut lines in the car, less disturbance around the vehicle itself, so it creates a, an opening space. It's very unique, but also very functional. So, subtly usable on the road, but really a, a very proper track car, and, uh, and we would expect some of our clients to enjoy those cars Absolutely. in that environment. Okay, let's go to the back of the car. What have they taken from Formula One, and what works at the back there to make these cars so stable? Anybody that's done any sort of air travel and sat alongside the wing will notice that the moment the aircraft lands, huge flaps deploy on the wings themselves to help slow the, slow the plane down. McLaren bring that sort of technology to the road car, incorporating a rear aerofoil, derived from Formula One, it uses a drag reduction system when traveling at high speed, but also an air brake system. So you stand on the brake pedal, the rear wing deploys and acts as a, effectively an anchor at the back of the car to help slow the car down. As well as that, we've also got a system called brake steer. Now brake steer was such a good system within Formula One, it was actually banned. It means that we've got the comfort and road going manners of an open differential, but then when we take it to a racetrack and we go into those sports or track modes, the car uses different sensors without the vehicle to detect speed, steering angle, yaw rates, different geometry around the car to use individual braking force at the rear to create a pivot point to help get a car through a corner, effectively creating the best of both worlds. With your background, you've got far greater driving ability than I, but this car, 1350 kg dry, 329 kilometers an hour top speed, and 0 to 100 in three seconds. What, what's gonna keep me safe? It's more than just the shaping and the design of the car, Paul. There's obviously things underneath the chassis, underneath the bodywork that create this lightness to it. McLaren use a very unique carbon fiber mono cell chassis. The chassis itself only weighs 75 kilos, so we start with a very, very light base. McLaren themselves are actually at the forefront of carbon fiber technology and have been now for quite some time. We were the first to develop carbon fiber tubs within Formula One, which we're going on to become now the mainstay for every Formula One team. The first to create a monocell style of chassis with the McLaren F1 road car in the 90s. Come a long way since then. 4,000 man hours was required back then to create one tub for one McLaren F1 road car. Today, we're able to make it in four hours. It's a system itself that's fairly unique to us. We create a very strong, very safe structure, but also very, very light. 
Is there one thing that we perhaps we haven't mentioned today that we should do? And if so, what's the best way of us dealing with that? There's certainly a number of things that we could go through in much more detail. One thing in particular that we would need to cover is the proactive chassis control, PCC, one of the most advanced and technologically developed suspension systems in the world, unique to McLaren. The best way to experience that though is to come in, have a drive of the car, let us show you how that works. We can actually feel the system working within the vehicle itself to give you a real difference in character between its road going manners and its track orientation. On behalf of McLaren Gold Coast, thank you for watching. A brief introduction to the benefits of 650 and the technology that surrounds it. As Craig's pointed out, there are only so many things we can talk about here. The best way of learning is in the car. Come and join us for a drive, first as a passenger, then as a driver on the great roads that surround us here. Welcome to McLaren Gold Coast.